We're talking about uh, derivatives of functions, and one special function is the natural log function. Now recall the definition of natural log. y equals ln x means e to the y equals x. And remember that e is that special number 2.71828. It's an irrational number and it has an infinite uh, non-repeating decimal representation just like pi. Uh, it turns out that it's a very important function uh, number though because when you create an exponential function e to the x, its derivative is also e to the x. So that's one of the important things about this number. Now I've graphed y equals e to the x and I've graphed y equals ln x. And remember, these are inverse functions of one another, and so they have this symmetry about the diagonal line y equals x. Now, I want to talk about the derivative of natural log. So I start with the definition of the derivative. Limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. And then I substitute in natural log for f, and this is what I get. Now this is, um, our goal here is to try to figure out what the derivative is, and we're not going to be able to do it with algebra. So instead, what I'm going to do is play a little game of guess the function. Now, the way I'm going to do that is, I need to get this in a form that I can actually graph on my calculator. And so what I'm going to do is approximate this limit by taking an h value that's really, really small, like 0 0.001. And so I'm going to approximate this limit with natural log of x plus 0 0.001 minus ln x all over 0 0.001. And that'll be pretty close, close enough for our purposes to tell what, what function the derivative of, the, of ln x actually is. So that's my, my goal for this lesson, to graph f of x equals ln x and its derivative on the TI-84 and identify the derivative function. So let's do that now. So we're looking at the TI-84. First thing I want to do is go into graph mode, so hit the y equals button. And I'm going to enter my function natural log x. Now, for y2, I need to enter the derivative, or my approximation for the derivative, which is parenthesis natural log of x plus 0 0.001 minus natural log of x close parenthesis, and then divide that by 0 0.001. So this is a, a difference quotient with h equal 0 0.001. It'll be pretty close to the limit as h approaches 0 of the difference quotient. Let's see what the graph gives us. Okay, so you're, you're looking here at, first of all, this upward, this increasing curve. That's the natural log curve. This decreasing curve here is its derivative. And it kind of makes sense that the derivative should be decreasing, because remember, the derivative gives me slope of natural log at any point. Here, very close to, when x is close to 0, the slope is steeper, and so the derivative should be greater. And over here, where the slope is less steep, the derivative should be less great, and that's what happens down here. Let's try to figure out what this function is, this derivative function. So I'm going to hit the trace button. Now, Right now, it starts with uh, x equals 0. And of course, both these functions are undefined at x equals 0. Let me cursor to the right a little bit. OK, now we're on uh, one of the curves. We're actually on the natural log curve. So I need to hit the up or down button to switch to the other curve. And now I'm on my approximation of the derivative. Now, x equals 0 0.1063. This is not going to be very helpful to me. Let's actually advance to x equals 0 0.5. And I can actually type 0.5 in. Now notice what the y value is. It is really, really close to 2. Let's try x equals 1. I can just type 1. Very close to 1. Let me type 2. Notice that this value is very close to a half. And so I'm starting to notice the pattern that the y value is close to the reciprocal of the x value. Let's try 3. 0.333. Definitely close to one third, and then I'll try one more, four. Very close to a quarter, which is 0.25. So I hypothesize that the derivative of this function is y equals one over x. Let's take this back to the board. All right, so what we just figured out is that the derivative of natural log is actually the function one over x. 
Um, that's another very special thing about the number e, because this is the logarithm with base e. It's got a very nice algebraic derivative. And so a really important result, and we'll be using this a lot in upcoming uh, problems, is that the derivative of ln x is 1 over x.